Game Freak used Annoy. It's super effective. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 annoying things in Pokemon games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the biggest annoyances in the Pokemon series that continue to drive us crazy on our journeys to catch them all. Number 10. Not having the running shoes item early in the game. Pokemon games are always about embarking on great adventures through different landscapes far and wide across the world. Why then does Game Freak insist on making us walk everywhere at a snail's pace during the beginning of nearly entry, forcing us to acquire the ability to run later in the game? The only thing it does is slow the game down and make us want to avoid starting a new save file. Number 9. Too Easy Look, we understand why this isn't a particularly difficult franchise. Each new game will always be the first Pokemon adventure for many kids out there who aren't used to the mechanics. But the rest of us really need additional difficulty modes. Even without grinding for levels, your party will always be incredibly OP by the time you reach the Elite Four, thanks to the experience share giving spoils away equally to everyone. Even if you have that turned off and go in expecting a stiff challenge, the AI is easily exploitable. A little challenge never hurt anyone, right? Number 8. Trainer Gauntlets Introduced at the very beginning of the series. These battles against progressively more difficult trainers sound okay on paper, but having to mash the A button to get through each trainer's dialogue is a test in patience, and the reward is never really worth it. Designed to be a battle of endurance, Players can still heal their party, and nothing is stopping them from cutting out after a particularly tricky trainer to hit the nearest Pokemon Center either. These obnoxious groups of enemies bottleneck the players by hindering their progress and offering no way around them. Number 7. Confused Pokemon Hitting Themselves Status effects definitely deserve a place in your arsenal. They're great for catching wild Pokemon, and allow even your weakest party members to have both value and their time in the spotlight. Still, while we love us some burn or paralysis, there's nothing fun about confusion. This ailment turns attacks into coin flips you must win if you want to avoid damaging yourself, with the only way to heal it being to equip the right berry before a fight, or swapping the affected party members out. Each attack can literally cost you gym battles through no fault of your own. Number 6. Zubats Probably the biggest reason players pad out their inventory with max repels. The seemingly endless supply of bats drives us crazy every time we enter a cave without fail. They spawn every few steps, and after you catch your first one to fill out your Pokedex, you're gonna get tired of spamming the run away option. Good luck if you're in there looking for ground or rock types, because you're gonna be seeing a whole lot of these flying rodents instead. Number 5. Trainers who use healing items on Pokemon close to fainting. You made it all the way through the gym, and you've got the leader's toughest Pokemon down to its last few hit points. You choose your next move, ready to claim your victory, but instead, a full restore brings it back to full health, forcing you to start all the way from square one. Sound familiar? Of course it does. Nobody wants to see their battle buddy faint, but this almost never changes the outcome of the fight. Unless you're lucky enough to land a critical hit and avoid giving opposing trainers the opportunity to heal altogether, this just wastes both our moves and our time. Number 4. Hidden Machine Moves A handy little tool for barring off areas from players until they've completed specific gems, HMs got out of hand really quickly. Can't see in the dark? Get Flash! Need to move that boulder? Get strength. Want to explore that underwater cave? You surf and dive. The amount of HMs you need just to get through the game means you need a dedicated party member you might not even like just because they can learn all of these moves. Some are decent in battle, but if you're ever against the ropes and down to your last HM slave, you'll see firsthand just how useless half of these attacks are. Number 3. Third Versions <laughs> With merchandise, anime, and toy sales banking off the iconic name, it's no surprise that the franchise has found an even more profitable way to rake in money from its fan base in the form of these slightly updated games. 
There's barely any additional story content and very few, if any, new creatures to catch. But if you want the completed collection, you just have to pick up a copy. They might be cool for the hardcore fans who want another slightly different run at their favorite game. But is starting with Pikachu or getting an odd egg really worth shelling out for a whole new game? Number 2. Bad Post-Game Content For an RPG to be successful, it's got to get players hooked and never let them go. While filling out the Pokédex and save scumming for shinies might appeal to some players, others are happy with their 5 or 6 favorites and want their progress to mean something. Unfortunately for the latter group, once you beat the Elite Four, the game is essentially over. The wrap-up to the story might introduce some new legendaries, but they don't provide any real challenge for your level 80 super team. It's all been downhill in this respect since the battle with Red at the conclusion of Silver and Gold. Number 1. Roaming Legendaries For the completionists out there, digging through countless common Pokémon to find what they're looking for with their trusty Pokédex is half the fun. Starting with Entei, Suicune, and Raikou, though, some legendaries scatter across the map, forcing players to track them through the world. Normally, we'd embrace the challenge, but just like any other wild encounter, these battles can start at any time, and if you have the wrong Pokémon leading your party, you're basically screwed, since these elusive legendaries will run, or worse, make your Pokémon run by using Roar, forcing you to start the whole process all over again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day!